Hey everyone, Mark here at Discover Your Home and tonight we're going to talk uh, real quickly about how can I make my roller covers and my brushes last a little bit longer. Sounds this is a typical roller cover. This is a lamb's wool roller cover. Imagine this having paint on it. So what I'm going to recommend to you is you want to scrape off that excess paint back into the can after you use the roller. Okay. Then you're going to want to take it and we're not for purposes of just quick demonstrations. You want to roll it. You want to put it in the sink, rinse it all out, squeeze out as much of that excess paint, get it, run some water through it, get it good and clean. And after you're done getting it good and clean, uh, they have roller spinners out there. You can buy them. I think they're 10, 15 bucks. Uh, but if you choose not to do that, you don't have to. Then after I get done kind of getting it out, usually what I'll do is I'll just test to see if the water is milky or clear once, once you get it clean. And then I'll take some uh, dishwashing soap or even uh, laundry soap run it through because this is a fabric okay and kind of squeeze it on clean it up and then re-rinse it out what I'll do is I'll take it outside I'll put it back on the handle this is I'll show you a smaller handle here this is a smaller handle I'll roll out the excess and then what I'll do is I'll hang it so this doesn't get matted down because if you lay this down on something it'll get matted on one side and the and the fabric will need time to relax so I generally like to hang it and let it dry. Okay, so that's for your roller covers. Uh, and, and as far as brands go, as far as roller covers, etc., cetera, um, there's, there's several different manufacturers. The ones that I'm most comfortable with using are the ones that I kind of grew up on. Uh, Wooster is a, a company. Purdy is a company that makes roller covers. There are several others, but those are two of the most recognized uh, for the painting professionals, at least in my area. Okay, so we'll set that aside. Now we're gonna talk about cleaning out your brushes. Same situation, you've got paint in here in your brush. You wanna dab it in your sink, get it all cleaned out. Make sure what you wanna do is kind of wring out the, the excess paint. Uh, make sure when you run it through and you kind of let that water drip off, is it clear, is it milky? Uh, there again, after I find that the water comes out, it's pretty clear, what I wanna do is I want to make sure I take some soap, there again, either dishwashing or, 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 or laundry soap, kind of work it into the bristles. There again, this is a polyester brush. This is actually a Chinex brush. So keeps the, keeps the uh, uh, material softer, okay? Put it in there, rinse it out. Then you want to put it back in its case to keep it formed, okay? That makes a lot of sense, okay? But before you do that, you want to make sure you kind of dry it out and either form it again or use a brush comb. They, they sell them at the paint stores, they sell them at the hardware stores. It's a metal comb to kind of brush it out. If you find that you're getting dried up paint on the upper, upper bristles here, you might want to take a plastic or wire brush and just kind of loosen that up. Uh, usually after a day of painting, that's all you'll need to do is just a light wire brushing and knock off some of that dry stuff on the upper part of it. And these are what's going to keep your brushes and rollers for a long, long time, because if you're if you're not painting every weekend, you're going to be painting once a once or twice a year. You want to be able to not have to go and run down to the hardware store, a spend the time, b spend the extra money. There again, as far as brushes and rollers go, uh, brushes going back to Purdy Wooster. So hopefully this can help you out. If there's anything that we haven't you know touched on that you don't understand please contact us, subscribe to our channel, and reach out to us. Hopefully we can help you out. Thanks again. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Discover Your Home with your host, Mark Lotz. Online at lotsremodeling.com. That's lots, L-O-T-Z, remodeling.com. And on Twitter and Facebook, at lotsremodeling. We'll catch you next time.